Right on, hello, welcome to the Daily Telegraph NRL podcast. Adam Mobbs here with Fatima Kadu <laughs> and the Benji Marshall of the team, Brent Reid. <laughs> you're rocking a couple of hours later than us, you leave before us, but you still get the results. Yeah, yeah. What about the Tigers? The Tigers is a bit of a sensitive spot for me. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a bit of I'm a, sorry, uh, I couldn't have a myself. wild weekend. <laughs> well, you still stand by your. Yeah. Well, of course. Comment piece I about mean, you know, and then uh, Rich, uh, Sham Richardson and Darcy Byrne, the, lo- the local mayor, are having a press conference out there today, which they're basically saying if you don't spend money on this ground, you can't. We can't play here any longer. Mm. So, it's it's not about the atmosphere there mm. or what it's like to go and watch a game. Well, it is a little bit about what it's like to watch a game of footy there, but it's not about the passion of West Tigers fans. It's about the fact the ground is below standard. And, and the fact is, if they don't spend money on it, they're going to shut it down anyway. So Correct. it doesn't matter what I say. Mm. It's well. what the government's saying, damn it. Well, <laughs> hasn't, didn't that go down well for team? 15,990 <laughs> people spoke with their feet and their wallets when you look at the price it cost yeah. to get in. 55 bucks that a walk re- up on the hill. That is insane. I could not believe that when I heard that. <laughs> that is outrageous. I feel like that's just new cost of living Sydney prices even for <clears throat> a ground like Leichhardt that is probably um, a bit rich to ask for that problem, sort of money right? to access. They've got to ask for that sort of money so they can actually make mm. money out of playing there mm. because they, they don't make money playing there. Um, so this is part of the problem. Mm. This is part of the issue yeah. with this. Well, I'm not yeah. going to say dump. Right? <laughs> I'm not going to say it again. Read his dump this, ratings. This <laughs> substandard <laughs> facility. Oh dear. Well, me. I mean, it was. I'm not sure if it was last year or maybe it was the year before now, where there was the that collapse yes. in the in the stand during the school r- yep. rugby, rugby game. game. So, yeah. so we know it's not up to standard, and, we, and we've known for a really long time that yeah. it isn't. Mm. So, it, 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 I don't think they're going to be able to get the funding to bring it up to standard. It doesn't necessarily need a two, three hundred million dollar refurb, no. but something just to improve facilities to make it worthwhile for fans to pay $55 to get in there, you know, so they can use the loo, so they can buy a drink. Why does Penrith get 300 million or whatever they get? To play and 10 they, games there. And they can't get 30 mil to like up. I think turning that into a more sort of like a, a, a precinct where they hope there'll be other entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Rather than just play footy there, well, and but it is what a else? Nothing else gets city. nothing else gets played there. But, but it there's no there's no A League. There's no anything else. Mm-hmm. Leichhardt out there. gets used. I think the mayor after, the, after <laughs> that column last week <laughs> sent me a list of all the uh, sporting <laughs> all the events. events. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like it's eighty odd times <laughs> during the year for <laughs> soccer and, and junior <laughs> league and all sorts of you know all sporting events. So, um, well, surely the rugby types have a bit of sway, can't Richo sort of? Get rugby on board. Tap into that, and you know. But anyway, I, you know, if if the government's not willing to spend the money there, why should people play? You know, why should they play footy there? Yeah. Mm. Uh, it, mm. I think it's it's an elbows electorate as well. Someone told me that. I don't know if that's true. Oh, I'm not sure. Could oh, be you're testing my problem. Anyway, <laughs> oh, um, spend some money on the ground or move out. I say. <laughs> Sorry, West Tigers fans. Well, don't say. So, what about the the result? Appy Corusau was oh, terrific man. in that game, weren't they? It's six nil. <laughs> Sharks. That oh, here we go. Tigers are in for a long night, and geez. They, from then on, the defence was... They were committed. They tackled in numbers. Uh, you know, they cut through Cronulla, which mm. is something you can't often say. But, oh, yeah, they were terrific, terrific performance from the Tigers. Yeah, it was. And, and just on Appy, it wasn't until after the game where I think Benji told everybody just how fook he was. And there were a couple of times during the game where they would cut to him and he looked like he was about to spew his yeah. guts out, sort of thinking, oh, is he OK? So, um, what was wrong with him? He had a stomach bug. Gastro, I Gastro. think it was, yeah. Probably from drinking the water or showering. <laughs> <laughs> During the week. <laughs> You're just going to get yourself in more trouble. Oh, um, good on Appy. He just took um, the old man for him, diaper up and get out there. And that's yeah, what he did. Oh, he's a world, we know he's a world-class player. But it also right? sets a tone, right? Yeah. It sets the tone that the captain, the most yeah. important player in that team, is willing to do whatever it takes against a, a good and tough opposition. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he was really good. Um, and so was Jareen Buller. Lachlan Galvin just Sort of looks like he belongs in that space really confident Aiden Caesar I think we saw I know there's a lot of question marks about what their halves look like but I think if we're looking to the future and developing the younger halves in the club Aiden Caesar probably needs to be their number seven um, all year so uh, yeah if you're a Tigers fan yeah. you'd be stoked got to back it up now we've got Parramatta I think Para- on Easter Monday Easter Monday big game uh, we saw the Eels yesterday 
Um, so they've got to back it up because you know, they've done this in the past where they're able to win a game out the blue and then they just mm. f- fall into bad habits again. Yeah. You know, the test is, is whether they can back it up week to week. Do That's the challenge for up? them. Yeah. Well, Parra's a good team. Yeah. Mm. Um, so it'll be a test for them. But if they play like this and they repeat that, the performance from Saturday night, there's no reason they can't beat Parramatta. Whoa, hey, Ooh, hey, hey, let's, let's not say things we can't take back. Right? There's no but reason they can't win. <laughs> Obviously, I know it hurts you. Maybe but they've done it before on Easter Monday, yeah, so they're always up for that they game. They played so well the other night. Yeah. Well, actually, Just I, a lot. I should be forgotten into the game. <laughs> I was in the car listening on the radio, <laughs> yeah. and I watched the, the uh, mini when I got home. Um, but Justin Nolan was like, very good, like, well, very he's a good solid. Player, yeah. I say Papa Lee looked enthusiastic, yep. and mm. at times last year, when well, I say he looked disinterested, but, geez, mm. i tell you what, he hasn't been the same player. Hasn't, has he? Since hasn't been the same and, player. And there were a couple of games, a couple of moments in the start of that game where um, he was beaten in defence, and I was, and I remember thinking, well, I wonder if he's going to put his head down here, but it didn't happen. Mm. So that's always a, a positive sign when somebody who did look disinterested in the past is clearly, you know, all in or buying in. Yep. yep. Stefano, Stefano play yeah. well. He was okay. He was okay. I don't think Big challenge yeah. for him this week, mm. up against Reg and and Junior Paulo and yeah. Um, Funny though, I was just thinking about that. Then he's a former Parramatta player, Joey Alfangawi, Parramatta against Tigers. Yeah, mm. you want some rivalry round stuff? There's yeah. rivalry yeah, well, round. There's a lot of, there's a lot and off has been the starting over. prop the last yeah. the first three games of the year with Barlow coming off the mm. bench, and they look much better when Barlow comes on in that oh, middle section. He changed the game. He changed yeah. the game yesterday. Yeah. Um, he did because fourteen nil down. I'm not going to say there was panic stations in the mob house. It was a point a minute at that point. <laughs> and they looked unbelievable manly. They should have been really. They should have got to twenty nil. They should have. Oh, that changed the game when I think um, did Jackson Paulo get Bella Paulo get dragged in a touch yep. and that and then I think Parra went down the other end and scored right. At twenty nil, I think it's game over. Yeah. Um, but they just looked so good, manly at times yesterday. I mean, How that's fast a game. Were they? Oh, my mm. That's a game you mm. cannot. Uh, at forty nil up, you can't fast. lose that. Mm. Um, but but Junior Paulo came on and or Bella came on and the game just swung dramatically. Mm. Yep. And um, some hit and miss moments for Blaze Talungi. Yeah. Uh, well, we saw that first try, didn't we? He shot yeah. out the line, lost his balance. He wasn't the only one in that game to do that. But no. he was, you know, but, you know, got beaten a couple of times. Yep. Kept his head up. He, he dropped the ball on their own line on a kick return, um, sort of second set back, sorry, uh, second tackle back when Parramatta were only just ahead, but scored a really nice try and went straight over the top of Tremoyevic, who yeah. was yeah. caught in the, inexplicably caught, at lock in the scrum for that set, which set him up, and he was racing to get in position after that, and was uh, was nowhere to be seen. But he, he, we got the footage here where you can see Tommy mm. making a beeline for it. But for an 18 year old kid to just have no self preservation, no. throw himself into one of the premier fullbacks in our game, and, and go mm. over, what a moment! And what about having the family having to get a uh, hire the bus to get the family there? There's so many of them. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, I, I, I know. Uh, Tommy Turbo got a little caught out there defensively, but he does make it. And Tommy is a good defender and a very big body for for Blaze just to sort of, you know, roll over him like that. It was a a pretty special moment. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens with Mike Sivo coming back this week. Straight in. Morgan Harper. No offence. Well, he's not a winger, right? Oh, but still, you don't have to, that doesn't mean you don't have to get up defending on the wing and stand next to Blaze in the centres. <laughs> you get out on the wing next to I the like touchy. That. If I need you, I'll call you in. Yeah. It's a good st- story of Blaze plays because, and I don't think he will, obviously, but um, it's a good story if he backs up this week because he played in the halves with Lockie Galvin at Westfield Sports Westfield mm. Sports High. Yeah. Yep. So, you know, they're good mates. And Lockie Galvin's obviously had a great start to his career, but um, he's got some ability. He's going to be around for a while, that kid, Blaze. Mm. Like Yep, mm. yep. And if you, I don't know if you saw in the crowd, the family were there and there was a big, tall kid in the background there in that family. That's his younger brother, Ryder. You love your parents. Who's the you prop in Harold Matts. You hey, love oh, Harold oh, Matts. No one knows <laughs> more about <laughs> Parramatta's <laughs> oh. teenage kids than you. Well, <laughs> it's a bit weird. Who <laughs> <laughs> follow those teenagers <laughs> around? Hey, no, let's not even go there. Come on. But no, he's, um, look, he's shown a lot of character. Mm. And he spoke mm. to him, we spoke to him after the game. He's a really nice young kid, right? He went through a hell of a lot last year. He had a punctured lung. Uh, spent a bit of collapsed lung, spent a bit of time in hospital, had yeah. surgery. Um, they said to him, your season's over, mate. But he came back and finished the year off. and uh, So he's a tough kid as well. He's got a bit of resilience about him, and he showed that yesterday, I reckon. Mm. I saw mm. the jersey presentation for his dad. Yeah, his dad yeah. gave to him um, very emotional. Allergic didn't... to grass, his old man. <laughs> <laughs> Started crying. <laughs> I'm allergic to the grass. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, oh. Do you think um, Blaze can be 
this sort of X factor and the outside back oh, stuff. Oh, the so X factor. Well, I think it's... But I think it's interesting with Zach Lomax sort of in yeah. the mix as well, you know. So I, I, I've tried to coax that out of certain people at, at Parramatta, yeah. but they're, they're sort of trying to play it down a bit because they are wary of how young he is and he's only just coming through. But yeah. he's also a really good ball player. Mm. So, it, you know... Maybe well, they've he's, got he's off what contract though as well. I mean, they've got to tie him down. He's mm. got a player mm. option for next year. Yep. Um, and up, they've got until round six, basically, where mm. they're the only club that can have a go at him. But after round six, he suddenly becomes mm. up for grabs. He's got to decide whether he takes up that option. And, yeah. But you know, and I can't imagine the options on huge money. No. So. You know. He might have a decision to make. Mm, well, that's it. I think management Maybe someone else will want him as an X-Factor. Well, management might have been waiting <laughs> for him to make his debut. Well, his management. So they yeah. could say, hang yeah. on, show us a little bit of yeah, cash exactly. here. For, I mean, he's only 18, but yeah, I think, I mean, if Paramount have got the money. They've got plenty of money in the cap waiting to spend on someone. So why not retain him and go from there? And then what sort of message does it send to a kid like that? If they go and get Zach Lomax for eight hundred thousand dollars, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, do they need to go spend that sort of money yeah. for a player that we know can sort of, you know, he's got every, he, I mean, he's got every right to look at that and go, well, hold on, mm. you know, I'm coming through the system. You're going to block my path. So how, that'll be interesting. Actually. How dare you question Parramatta's recruitment and retention? It's not like they've ever got <laughs> one I'm, wrong. I'm not questioning. I'm just pointing out. Uh, oh, Mobsy! <laughs> wow, Josh Strait, are we watching this? <laughs> I missed Phil for him earlier. He'll, he'll, he'll receive back. your number one ticket hey, holder. <laughs> oh, does he want you and Skomo? Well, well it's just facts. It's just, as Mick Carriava <laughs> says, it's just facts. Yeah, okay. uh, what did you make of the Jake Trebojevic obstruction call late in the game? The contentious one, quote unquote. No How issue. is it contentious? Yeah. That's well, according to Phil Buzz Rothfield, common I sense. Know, so Buzz common got sense. Really fired up about it's that. black and white. They're also uh, and look. I Don't get, make me pull out my Buzz impersonation. That's <laughs> 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 a disgrace. But here's, here's the footage here for those watching this. And yes, he stops in the line, Jack Trebojevic, and which it's black and white. But the, what mm. what points out to me is the alarming thing for Parramatta here. Is watch Kelma Tuolangi shoot out of the line here. He chases Luke Brooks when he doesn't have to and creates that hole. He creates that gap. Mm. But then Jake standing there exacerbates it. So for me, it's a you know, Tulangi should be counting his lucky stars that Jake stopped in the line. Yeah. But. For there, that's where the hole is. So there's no, you know, no contention. Just well, Jakey should have run through. He should have run through the go through through the defence. Take three more steps. I don't, I don't. A lot of conjecture about whether that pass was forward from Tommy. That wasn't forward. That wasn't forward. No. That wasn't forward. There was a couple. There was a couple. I thought Mind Mitch was Mitch was complaining at the other end uh, when Manly scored before when Tommy had that reverse ball that he gave, and I thought that was fine as well. There were, a, you know, I. I had no issue yeah, with that. Yeah, it was that. a big mistake by Jakey. And uh, Daly was pretty good in the press conference afterwards. He mm. said it's black and white. That's no try. So good on. Uh, you know, Daly deserves a rap for being so honest yeah. about it and acknowledging you know, that wasn't a try. And mm. that took a lot of the sting out of the, de- the debate, yeah. I think. Yeah, well, some of the commentary was that, oh, the bunker shouldn't be rewarding Moretti for being lazy. I'm like, hold on. It yeah. was Jake Turbo. That was that was lazy, <laughs> lazy yeah, in that cool. play, you know. Yeah. So, and I don't think there was anything um, contentious. But people love uh, obstruction could, debate. Could you imagine Jakey last night? Because we know how passionate he would have been, yeah. how much he loves to win. <laughs> oh, Jakey oh. would not have slept last night. <laughs> no, he'd have been he replaying that he over and over and over yeah. in his head. Who have they got this it week? Would have tormented him. <laughs> <laughs> Who have they got this week? Um, oh. Let's see. Oh. What do you got for us? Dragons. Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, of course, Flano again. Flano against his, <laughs> Seeb, yeah. yeah. Flano and Seeds, dear me. Yeah. Uh, that's. Yeah. We'll, we'll get onto the Dragons shortly uh, with that one. But yeah, you I know, didn't see just on issue. just on Parra, what I was thinking yesterday as, as I was watching them, not when they were not when they were behind 14 0, but uh, sort of they had started to build a bit of a reputation as like flat track bullies. Um, and I. No, it was actually it was people talk about the different ways. Anything. That's fair. People people talk about different ways sides improve during the off season, and they normally talk about players and who we expect a little bit more. But um, if I'm a Para fan, the fact that they didn't fold and the fact that once they were on the front foot, you know, they had they had the game, the power game, and the momentum to keep things going. I'd mm. be pretty pleased with that. Yeah. Do you th- do you think it's something diff- bit of steel about the Mashiro, a bit yeah. of resolve, or what? Mobbing? Still conceded twenty four points. Yeah. However, they to bounce back from forty nil against a team that could have put forty on anyone. Yeah. And how good Manly looked in round one. Mm. Yeah. I was very worried about that game, but you know, flat track bullies only beat Penrith twice last year. <laughs> but, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever. Uh, no, I liked I liked what they showed. I liked the resilience. Yeah. You know, I'd still like to see. 
the edge defence improve a little more. Yeah. I think I think Sean Lane's had a bit of a slow start to the year and coming back from injury after injury last year, I think that's to be expected. But Bryce Cartwright continued to continues to He's impress. Good, yeah, mm. playing some good footy. But you know, when when they choose to offload at the right time, you see what happens. They were down four yeah. one in those in the offload count and then all of a sudden they're up nine four and they were ahead on the scoreboard and yeah. it was you know, that's the game they play and yeah. it's hard to take material as a fan, but it's it's interesting to watch. So mm. um, what about the Canterbury Bulldogs? <laughs> And how good were they, and how bad are the Gold Coast Titans? Well, the Titans are diabolical, aren't they? And now with no Tino. I mean, Tino the Fassel 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 put a line through their season. They're done and dusted. Mm. I mean, Desi's never won a spoon, but they're now, what, four bucks to win a spoon? Yeah. And I don't think that's short enough, I to think, be honest. I, I think there's going to be a couple well, of games this season. Mm. They've got massive issues. Mm. I mean, they, do. they don't have a halfback. T- Tanner Boyd's struggling. Um, Foz came back on the weekend and didn't really make a difference. Um, and, you know, they should have they should have let early. I mean, they bombed that try early. Yeah, but, the AJ Brimson try was you bad. You know, they'll get Dave Fafita back soon enough. Jaden Campbell will come back at some point, but... Jaden Campbell might be a little bit sooner than Fafita. They're think. awful. Yeah. They're, yeah. And if you're Dave Fafita, he's still got that option, remember, round 10 option for his contract for next year. Um, Man, you'd be, you'd be look, watching this and having second thoughts, I reckon, about Wouldn't take. You? I would have said a week ago, um, the mail was Dave would take up the option. But after the way they, they played the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Well, they, they had the bye last week. Well, they, yeah. yeah. Round that, one, that round, round three. one game. Yeah. Um, if I'm Dave, I'm thinking, hmm, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Um, yeah. Speaking of people who didn't get a wink of sleep, Tyner Boyd would have been having William uh, kick out nightmares. He just he just terrorised him the uh, whole game, and yeah. it really affected the way um, he was playing. But if you're a Canterbury fan, you're thinking, finally, I think that was probably the best game that Kickouts played in a, in a Bulldogs jumper. And if he's going to sort of, and, and I know it was against a Titans who didn't really offer a lot, but um, yeah, I thought the Bulldogs were were good. Mm. Reed Marnie looked free. Uh, Jacob Carraz was so dangerous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kick out. Burton. Burton was sk- he's scheming best out there, just running the show. I thought, yeah. And, and Taff I think, had some good moments yeah. as well. And Kick saying afterwards, directly after the game, he said, "Keeping them scoreless because that's what and that's yeah. the Cam Serrato mentality, isn't it? You know, yeah. keeping them score." But in saying that, I, they I defended crazy. well the first couple of weeks. That's what I. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know they considered twenty four and twenty whatever. You know they've conceded sort of four or five tries but they had no possession against Para and held them out for 30 minutes and then the floodgates opened a little bit and then Cronulla are a really hard team to break down unless you're the Tigers (laughs) (laughs) and and they they held their own there for a while so it hasn't been terrible performances in that regard and yeah although you're not going to get you're not going to get the Gold Coast every week no which is the problem it's interesting though South this week South in diabolical shape. You would have thought, okay, form. as bad as Souths go, um, round four they'll get a win and yeah. they can get their conference back. Who knows? It's not so sure now. now yeah. that yeah. game, isn't it? Yeah. Dear so, tells you how bad Souths are going. What's going on with Souths? Oh, who can, knows? Can you figure it out no, for me? No, I can't, no. No one can. <laughs> JD can't even figure it out, can <laughs> oh, oh. I mean, they're just a mess. I mean, well, the, they were just Is it fair to say that bringing Friday. in Hawkins into the side didn't really solve anything or well, don't think it made a expected. difference did it yeah. no. it didn't make a difference I mean, yeah. and everyone talked about his kicking game his control I, I didn't think his kicking game was I wasn't impressed with his kicking game at all no um, but it's hard when you're in a team that's completely devoid of confidence and, mm. and they bring you in, in and expect some sort of change um, and they just didn't get one and you know it's Cody struggling Cody Walker struggling I'm thinking he's six tackles or something um, they were just blown away blown apart yep and South Sydney are last on the NRL ladder. Crazy, yeah. I know, well, we talked about this last week. We don't really look at the ladder too much. But, yeah. geez, I looked at it this morning and went, South are last. And what Stone do you mumbles. do when you've you've sort of rolled the dice, right? You know, you drop Lachlan Elias. Mm. That's your big play, right? Your next move, you can't bring him back after, after one week. I mean, what, what message does that send? Yeah. It sends a message that you've panicked, basically. Mm. Your next... Your, your only play left, really, is to either drop Cody... Or to move Latrell, and I don't know. So if you drop Cody, just say for argument's sake, where do they go from there? Do they turn to someone like Jack White? Jack and put Jack at six. 
then again, maybe. I've got skinny outside backstops yeah. too. So, yeah. you know, it's almost like maybe he might think it's a way to strengthen the halves because Cody Walker's playing <coughs> um, poorly, but then are you weakening an, e- an already weak part of the part of the side? So, And if you move Latrell, well, maybe mm. those two things go hand in hand, right? So if you move Latrell to centre, then you move Jack to six. But Jai Gray, then you're putting so much pressure on young Jai Gray to come in yeah. and make a difference. I mean, he's, what, 19, 20, Jai mm-hmm. Gray? And apparently he's going really good in New South Wales Cup. I saw him at the schoolboy champs a couple of years ago, and he was unbelievable. He's a midget, but <laughs> far be it for me to, far be it for me to have a go at something about their height, but he's, he's, a, he's not a big kid, or he no. wasn't a couple of years oh. ago. And the reality is uh, he is really talented, but there aren't that many small NRL players no. um, anymore. So, uh, yeah, I don't but know. But he seems to be going right. Well, he's handling himself in New South Wales Cup, so, or from what I understand, but I just... It's just a bit early, I think. Yeah. And just yeah. get through this game and, you know, they should beat Canterbury. As good as Canterbury are going, they should still beat Canterbury. They should have still still have too much for them. Get through this game, hopefully win, get a bit of confidence back. And then, mm. you know, if they lose this weekend, that's, Friday, that's all bets yeah. are off, yeah. right? you just got to make changes. Otherwise, JD, I know that... You know, Russ and the board threw their sport behind him. Mm. But if you lose to Canterbury, then you've got two more home games after that, before the buyer, I think. You lose three straight at home, including Canterbury, all bets are off. Yeah. You you, you know, there's no way you can consider the coach safe in that situation. Yeah, because don't they have a pretty shocking run as well? Like, even with that buy coming up. And they'll lose Blokester in Origin. You're going to lose probably Luttrell. You'll lose Cam Murray. Mm. Um, Have they got anyone else? Uh, Latrell, oh, Jack, Cam Murray. Well, Jack, Jack. What did Jack decide in the end? Is he available? Well, yeah, apparently he's he, back. Is if he, he puts back? in the performance like he did, I know it was first game back, but he wasn't coming back from injury. He shouldn't have been short on fitness. I know match fitness is different. Yeah. If he puts in that performance, he won't be in origin. I thought he was pretty good, Jack. Did you? A bit harsh. He had a go. Jeez. He had a go, Jack. Oh, <laughs> Nafahu White threw him off really badly for that try. Okay. He missed a couple. Oh. So they've got Canterbury. Yeah. Then the Warriors. Tough game. Then the Sharks will be a tough, tough game. game. Then the Bahi, then the Storm, then Penrith. Oh, man. Mm. That's okay. Season over by round nine, South Bend. Oh, be dead now. <laughs> oh, you heard it here first. Mobsy. JD, do you hear that? Mobsy's put a line through, brother. Uh, Gorski. Let's put it up in the dressing room and go from there. But um, in reserve grade, so uh, the great Marty Gabor was there at the game. I don't know if you got out there and saw any of that, but... Um, good performance from Ilias apparently yeah, set up a couple of tries uh, made a try saver Jai Gray your man was electric again yeah. so yeah big big cup win over the Roosters so yeah. and there was a decent Roosters team too that a few good players mm. running around Siwa Wong was running around and mm. um, yeah. I can't remember who else but it was a decent Roosters side so yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's all well and good winning reserve grade let's be honest no one cares no yeah. no one cares so they need well, to win some first grade games. No, so yeah, all they, all they do. care about and is getting players first grade ready, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And I think, Reedy, you're right. Like, if, if JD does go back on, on Ilias now, it is going to look like he panicked a little bit. I mean, Sarah was in a similar boat after two yeah. games where people were saying, you know, Burden's not a, ha- not, not, not a half, moving into the centres, create to fullback, make all these changes, problems with the four pack. And he stuck solid, right? He said, mm. like, I'm, this is our game plan and we believe in it. And, you know, I know it's only one game, but he he was proved to, to be correct. He didn't panic, and um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a hard one. They're going to have to find something because that run is atrocious. And what we saw from Para last year is your is the season can get away with you away from you very quickly. Then why the drive by? Sydney <laughs> Motor my own business. Say, I'm getting shades of um, <laughs> Parramatta 2023. The only thing I would say, I mean, as a coach. Right. Um, if he does make that change, it's almost an acknowledgement that you got, got it wrong. Yeah. What's wrong with acknowledging you got it wrong? Oh, That's nothing. the only I would say. If then so, you get it right. Yes, you know what I mean? If like, you get it right, yeah, after right. that. Yeah. But he's in, a t- yeah, he's in a tough spot. And I, I think. I thought he handled himself well in the press comments afterwards, actually. Mm. You know, I was actually sent him a text saying, mate, I thought you handled that really well. Mm. Because it's really difficult when you're in a situation like that and, you know, you're under pressure and you've then got flogged and you have us jackals in the media coming in the press conference <laughs> going, mate, why are you the right oh, bloke to you? take... Oh, is it you? Are you still right? I'm pretty sure it was you. Why are you the right bloke to take this cup for? I thought he handled it 
pretty well to be and fair. He, it was it was pretty honest it was yeah. oh, he was honest with what he said about yeah. you know the the toughest the lowest point yeah. of his career yeah. you know but that's in saying that that's also the challenge for him to dig himself out yeah. so i'm with you i think he handled that pretty well it's just you know you look at across the board at souths and you, we were talking about, about this before you look at that forward pack and you've got totola there and then Kepi there start does Kepi start with him? Do you start? The recruitment you know? hasn't been yeah, you know, I don't think the recruitment's been great. But you've got Keon yeah, who looks like a world beater on one side, Jacob Post on the other side. So they've, they've paid probably they've obviously, obviously I think they're paying all of Sean Kepi, right? But mm. I think they're paying a lot of it. Just so they're paying five hundred for Sean, right? Mm. They could have gone five hundred. Well he was on six, I think, from Ooh. memory at Manly, five or six hundred. They could have gone and got Adam from, tried and get Adam Fleming or Blake from Mill. Mm. He's a, like, why wouldn't you just do that? Oh. Mm. Yeah. And he's a South, he's a South kid, Adam Fleming or Blake. Was Fleming or Blake available then, though? Did Kepi well, have it, for? Well, probably not at that moment. Mm. But if you hold your money back... Yeah. Yeah. You know, Spend it wisely. Yeah. I just don't. don't think... I'm not sure if their recruitment's been great. Because mm. they're short in the middle. They've got to, to is a good player, but he's yeah. a bit down. Mm. Tommy Burgess, I reckon, he's just about... I mean, Tommy won't get a deal beyond this year. He's just about yeah. shot to bits, mm. right? Davey Miley. He's hanging on by his, his last legs. Davey Miley's obviously a young kid who's mm. got a bit of talent. And then you've got Sean Kepi, who we all know my frustrations with Sean Kepi. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sean. Don't start me on Sean. <laughs> <laughs> he comes up with a spectacular play, Sean, but there's always a blue in his game. Mm. So, you know, I, I just wonder whether their recruitment's been great. Yeah. And Tommy Burgess off to Huddersfield next year, yeah. isn't he? That's right. And they're missing Joy Arrow, obviously, at the moment. He's a big out for yeah, That's them. a massive out. Um, but um, you, you need... And they l- released Saluka Fafita to yeah. Canterbury. Um, you want Davy Mawali. You want these young guys to be able to step up. But it's a lot of pressure on... Hamo Sele. Yeah, losing him to They could have with keeping him, mm. right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I just... They've got a few... I just think they've got a couple of things wrong in that department. Yeah. And when you start getting a couple of those things wrong, has that sort of flow on effect where then mm. you lose then you can't you know you, you don't have the players to rejig your lineup. you get a couple of injuries your depths get yeah. tested um, yeah. well so I think um, Jairo said uh, yesterday that he's sort of looking at around eight return depending on how things go but I, I don't know if he's going to be enough to make a difference and by then the season might be did I hear Campbell Graham say he was around 18, 18. blimey Jeez, which that's is tough. yeah which of what from what I heard from someone was a little optimistic as well wow. so I don't know but we'll um, we'll see what happens on the flip side I know we've been saying this the first couple of weeks James Tedesco my goodness how good is he oh, that double pump and then yeah. the Harbour Bridge pass over to yeah. Dom Young Dom Young unbelievable and yeah. the, the entire game you know you look at the stats from him and yeah. the workloads there and this is where you know they it's wrong to compare Luttrell with Tedesco because they're very different players yeah, exactly, but yeah. um because yeah, you just you want Latrell to give you those sort of 14 16 really good touches when he has them but Teddy's just everywhere isn't yeah. he just such a worker and for a guy who's not overly big to be so strong in that core to yeah. do what he does um yeah he, just having a, one of those years this year it's tremendous so good to see yeah, love well, watching great players play great especially after the flacky cop last season yeah yeah. yeah, well, um, he's been one of their best players so far, and if people are talking about the Roosters, you know, being a, a genuine title threat, then he's going to be key to that. <laughs> but yeah, he's just one of those players that yeah, he did have a down season last year, but we know how good he is, and um, you know, there was even some oh, not necessarily. When I spoke to him during Origin <laughs> last year, with everything going on, I I almost got the feeling that. Um, it had gotten to a point that where he was potentially thinking thinking about walking away from from Origin, but you know, I think g- given on his form, he's oh. one of the first picked. When you look at you know how Latrell's going and, and the rest of it, so yeah, he's going to be massive for that Rooster side, especially if they are going to make a, 
a charge for the title. It was down by his standards, right? His yeah. form yeah. last year, not yeah. by mere mortal standards, no, right? No. It was down by his standards. I'd love to have a James Tedesco bad good. day. Brandon Smith was good the other night. Mm. Brandon, love Brandon. He's a crap bloke, great character in the game. But uh, I thought that was one of his better games. Did you say crap bloke? Great bloke. Did you say crap bloke? I was like, I read it's here, got to reel Brandon. you in here. Love Brandon. And Sammy Walker. And they used Sammy, him. Walker. Sammy was great before yeah. he went off. And yeah. When he copped the simultaneous knee and elbow, elbow. from Jack Watt, how did that not warrant a look from the match review committee. Well, they would have looked at it. They would have looked and, at it. But he had his raised knee into into his thigh, almost into his... Oh, I, mm. know. I, I Mate, thought there was something South in that. South's struggling. Now you're trying to get Jack White. No, I just want to look at it. Cut it out. A couple of judiciary Leave things. Leave him I'm alone. Shady scratched my head out and that was one. But Sam Walker, again, Very tremendous. Yeah. And Playing Sam tough this year too, yeah. Sam. So... Mm. Sam Smith, you're right. He was when he well. came on to end, was forced to do different roles because yep. he came on in place of Brandon first, and then Sam goes off. Brandon comes in, and they worked really well together. That yep. that freakish kick, that's that would have made you proud yeah. back in your NSL well, days. NSL <laughs> days. Yeah, yeah. What about that? The yeah. little bit of just lined it up. And got a bit lucky though. It was Cam Murray with the, the, the stray hand right, and knocked, mm, knocked mm. it down for him. But uh, he's just a. What do they say? Eyes up football. Eyes up football, yeah. <laughs> but Sammy Walker. What the hell that means? He's an eyes up football. Don't they? They look really... Plays what he sees. They look really well structured when Sam Walker's running that team at the yeah. moment. Mm. That's... Are you calling for Luke Keery's head? No, I was about to ask you the question. <laughs> Luke Keery, what are we hearing? When's uh, he back? I think he's okay. I mean, mm. they said he was They said he, he was pretty good after the game. Um, and no, I think he's okay. I, I suspect he'll be back this week. I don't know 100%, but yeah. um, I did exchange a text with him the other day and he said, I'm, go I'm going good. So it yeah. uh, wouldn't I was surprise there. me if he's back. I was out there yesterday at yeah. training in Moore Park and I was here with concussion and head knocks. It's one of the ones where you can't necessarily tell what is going on just by yeah. looking at someone. Um, <laughs> but yeah, both him and Sam Walker were out there, looked yeah. good, looked happy. Um, uh, Lindsay Collins, who also picked what up a bit of a hamstring yep. thing. Um, from what I saw, he didn't take part in any of the um, warm-up drills, but was still at training. Terrell May looks like he's okay. So um, the one I did notice, however, was Sandon Smith was in a, in a no-contact bib, so he might be out of contention, I think, with some sort of arm-elbow injury. Who are they going this way? Roost, uh, Roosters. Panthers? Oh, yeah. Thursday, Thursday night. night. Yeah, of course, yeah. the blockbuster. Oh. What a game that'll be. Yeah, tremendous. Yeah. So, yeah, it looks like... Um, we'll have to chase up what's going on with Sandon Smith then. That's yeah. a concern. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, apparently it was um, uh, some sort of arm-elbow knock. So he was in a no-contact bib <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. You know what? Okay. Speaking of injuries, I tweaked a calf yesterday at you soccer did. training. Did yeah. <laughs> Old man's injury. Well, Had a few of them a we, day. We did, <laughs> we did the beep test first. We did one pre -se early what are you pre playing? season. Hey? What are you playing? Soccer. Yeah, what, 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 over, what, th over 35. What the hell are you doing a beep test for? Just to keep <laughs> keep ourselves accountable. What'd you do? What level did you do? 11.3. That's not bad. That's no. not bad at and all. And then I've done a calf later in training, so it was probably <laughs> over. That's because you just did the beep mm. test and went yeah. out, yeah. It was better That's than I did the smart. first one. I did the f first one after we had an impromptu neighbours catch up and I was a little under the weather that day and got about an 8.5. So oh, that's pathetic. They couldn't believe... <laughs> you can they walk that. They couldn't believe how well I went yesterday. <laughs> beep test. Don't they do the yo-yo test now instead of the beep test? I don't know. We're Isn't old. Isn't the same thing? Really old just school. a different... Um, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know what the difference is. I think I once did about 15 on a beep test did in you? my prime. I thought it was 17, but I think that's like... Olympic class stuff. So I think <laughs> over, the, over the years I might have got yeah. that wrong. I, I think it was about 15. I think I passed <laughs> both the police and the fireys levels you have to get to. Well, there you go. We never know in the right. modern day with but now journalism injured, the so way it's going. Yeah, well, <laughs> you might need that <laughs> report on the run. Um, uh, we'll keep things out west in Penrith with the Panthers mm. and your Broncos. Dramas. Tough, tough night, yeah. Although, tough night with Reese, Reese going down early. After four minutes, and I still, I don't see how Taylor May was not charged. I don't <laughs> buy what Luke Patton said as no. the both players <coughs> leapt in the air, bracing for the contact. Only one of those players was mm. initiating the contact, mm. and it's on, beholden on the defender yep. to keep your tackle centre low and not go with the head. They've gone soft on head knocks this year. I don't know what the hell's yeah. going on. Last year that was a that was almost a sin bin in four weeks. Mm. This year it's play on. Well, well, you're on report, I don't know how he wasn't charged. I think he, he shot out the line 
He was out of control. Like it, it, well, that's it was why out he was probably control, yeah. That's right? why he was probably so, upright by the yeah. time the contact was made, right? Because yeah. he didn't have any control over the tackle that he was he was trying to put on. So, um, and it is a split second thing, but obviously, and, and this whole there has concept, to be an onus. You know what gets me? This jibber people go on about it was an accident. Mm. Every um, basically ninety percent percent mm. of high tackles are accidents. Yeah. Right. And people still get charged. You can't say something, Zach, whether it's accident, accidental or not, does not matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So stop. people stop saying it. People out there say it. They're <laughs> saying it's an accident. I don't care. Yeah. It does not matter. I know. Yeah. Get your tackle zone lower. Yeah. That's, mm. You're not deliberately going out to hit someone, well, 90% of the time. It was, it was, it was, he was out of control. Yeah. It was careless at the very least. Mm. You could, some would argue it's probably a little reckless, right? He, he should have been charged. Yeah. And he wasn't. I'm not, I'm not saying a grade three. Like no, it's no. a grade one charge. Yeah. Just charge him. Send a message. A, and he should have been sent as a, well. It's a bad precedent. It is a bad precedent. And now you've right. lost Reese Walsh for four, six weeks. Yeah. He's had yeah. to 17 hours on the bus home to Brisbane. Yeah. Uh, you know, modelling career in doubt. Yeah, it's you know. gone. I Forget think, about it. I think he'll be fine. Didn't you see him? He's uh, already posting his um, polo Ralph Lauren's I latest. I saw that, um, yes. He's so doing well, old uh, Reese boy, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dearie me. Yeah. Um, what about and on the great Rob Sutherland from the Supercoach podcast caught this caught his eye and he passed it on to me. The Panthers' little sneaky fifth tackle <laughs> option, where Mitch Kenny, when they're in their own half and mm. they're looking for a long kick, because now that they've banned the blockers, you can't stand next to the ruck there. Look at what Mitch Kenny does. He just drifts off to the right or towards Nathan Cleary every time that there's its fifth tackle option, just to create that little bit of issue with the marker who might be chasing Nathan Cleary well, down. What does the marker run into him? Hey? The, the marker should run into him. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's but sort of the, run um, into him. Well, we had Dean Richard chase this up yesterday with the NRL <laughs> who said, oh, no, it's, there's not an issue, but this is a sneaky play, which is... Is the, it? The, the first four tackles of a set, Mitch Kenny does not drift to the right towards where he's thrown the ball. He stays where he is. Fifth tackle... In his own half, oh, all the time. Them. Sit there and watch what he does. It's it might be ingenious. It might be by the rules, but it's yeah. yeah. I don't know. Caught okay. our attention. Thought that was interesting. But the, clubs always look at little ways to get around. They're very clever. Yeah. They're very smart these days. Penalty. Yeah. They're setting a lot of these trends mm. of uh, used to be Melbourne a lot of times. Wasn't it, it was Melbourne back in the mm. day. Yeah. Now now <laughs> Ivan and the team are just got them. Maybe yeah. yeah. I don't know who's. But we're watching I mean, you, Mitch is, Kenny. We saw that. It, it is very subtle. Yeah. It is very yeah. subtle. Mm. And, and Reed is right. Like, you know, if I want to bring it to attention of the referee in play, then take, him. take him out. Go down, clutching at your... Yeah, the force them to have a... Did you yeah. say government car? <laughs> remember that with Walkboy? Great show. Walkboy's not. Do you remember the movie? <laughs> said, I know the movie. I yeah. never really... I'm not, he wasn't my Who's style. Tony of, he wasn't my style of comedian. What was his oh. name again? Wait, you what boy? George. Uh, yeah. No. no. Um, oh. Anyway, whatever his name was, yeah. I wasn't really into it. <laughs> Did you say government car? Ah! Went down clutching at his hip or something. Oh, like, I yeah. do remember that now. So that's what I'm just doing. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that went well. Yeah, that it was good. good. Yeah. Dear mate, it's not, it's not uh, Seinfeld, is it? Let's no, be honest. No, it's, it doesn't doesn't carry. Um, Seinfeld fan? It's, oh. it's a bit before my time. I like oh, wow. Elaine, like though. I do, <laughs> you like Elaine? I, do, I, do, I don't, oh, mind wow. a bit of, don't mind a bit of Elaine, but... Um, <laughs> That's what, yeah, neither, no, is, uh, a... neither is Newman. No, no. <laughs> I'll you. take a little Jerry if he gets me a lot of Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> This bloke. <laughs> Sorry. He's got it all oh coming. dear. If I could put my powers to good instead <laughs> yeah. of just useless <laughs> jibber like this. Yeah. More importantly, Battle of Queensland this week, Cowboys, Broncos. Bron- Broncos are... We're down a few. No I'm Haas. Sorry, I can't say we're down a few. No they're Haas. Down a few. No Walsh. Reynolds, maybe. Mm. Well, they're yeah, not they're in a bit of trouble, the Bronx. Mm. Um, and, they've got, and I looked at their run. They've got a tough run as well. Mm. Um, and what are they, one and two at the moment? Drop a couple of games, drop to one and four. It's almost like the top four is out of reach. So, um, yeah, it's difficult. As the team says, it can be hard for grand finals from previous years to go the next season and make... Uh, finals. Yeah. Well, they're just hand- they're just injuries, right? Be. And it, for the, the Broncos as well, those outs like Reese Walsh, yeah. Payne Haas, and Reynolds, they're key outs. Big outs. They're mm. impo- you know, yeah. with with Reynolds and Reese Walsh, that's two of your most important sp- spy members, essentially. Um, so yeah, it's um, I don't know how they overcome a Cowboys who are on the top of the ladder as the only winless. Uh, 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 
the only team to win the first three games, I would not have picked them as the Queensland side to be at the top of the ladder mm. to start the season. So The only thing that gives me hope, as a, if you're a Broncos fan, is I thought Ezra Mam in the second half the other night started to find yeah. a bit of mojo. So, you know, and I think Ezra's been a bit down the first couple of weeks. But I thought in the second half, he, Something looked, happened. he looked dangerous. He took that responsibility yeah. on his... So that gives, I think he? if you're a Broncos fan, that gives you a little bit of hope that um, there's some encouragement there. Yeah, yeah. Encouragement. Ooh. And the Knights finally on the board. Yeah. Uh, there's an understrength Melbourne team. I didn't, again, I, heard, I was listening on the radio, I didn't see this game, but it sounds like Melbourne came over the wet sail yeah. and almost could have got them in the end. They no were, Munster, no Hughes, no Nelson. Mm. Um, would have been a big effort by Melbourne. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the Melbourne will be disappointed by that. I think the Knights they'll just be happy to get the two points and try and build off that because, you know, after a couple of lean weeks they needed a win. They yeah. needed a win badly. So KP sounds like he went all right for the Knights. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm. Pappenhausen tried his guts out yeah. in that oh, game. Yeah. He, sort of told he, he took on that responsibility of not having the two the two halves there. I think he's getting back to that. Is he sort back? Of, well, I think he's getting back is to that too e- early? those areas for I, I would agree, yeah. Is it he's, too he's early to talk to Origin? Because he was in the mix <sighs> to be the 14 off the bench, wasn't he, in Origin for mm. a while there? Too early? Mm. That was under the old guard. Yeah. But, you know, I match. mean, he was close to best on ground in that game, even um, in a losing side. I don't know if it's it's too early. There was a really scary moment in that game. Did you see that where he sort of got upended and did oh, the, yeah. the, 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 the somersault? I think um, Leo <laughs> Thompson's been charged for that. He did get away with that one, though. Well, he's been good doing Gag Oil in the year, actually. Yeah, he's yeah. off contract at the end of the year. Um, hasn't got a deal yet. He's been pretty good, Dane. Mm. But um, they needed that, didn't they? Jeez, the Knights. Imagine if they have gone 0-3. Great ball this by KP. Oh, just... He was... Yeah, he looked dangerous as well. He yeah. looks like... You know... But I think Melbourne walk away from that. Not too deflated. I think no. they get the bye this week. Hopefully they get Munster back after the bye. They'll get Jerome back, mm. obviously. What happens uh, with Nelson? Nelson, I ma- well, imagine he'll play another week in use of the last cup. And then we'll see how he's going. But I mean, he's got to win back Craig first. That's his. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's not as if their forward pack haven't been going well. They get Joe Chan back after the bye as well, I'd imagine. Um, and they haven't really missed Nelson. The forward pack hasn't really missed Nelson. Mm. Mm. So it'd be intriguing to see what happens there. Because if, they, if he's out of that first grade team for an extended period... There's already other clubs sniffing around and asking questions about him. You yeah. can bet your bottom dollar they'll be banging down the door mm. trying to get him. Correct. Mm. And the Warriors got a much needed win for team. I thought your Raiders were going to get there at one point. So did I. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, look, the, 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 Raiders, the Warriors, sorry, hadn't actually been playing that poorly. It was just, you know, I felt like this game was really going to test... Um, sort of where their attitude was at because they'd been playing well and not getting the result. Um, yeah, it was just... Um, oh, it, it was one of those games that went went down to the wire. It was always going to be hard for Canberra in New Zealand. Um, but, yeah, it was disappointing. Adam Fanua Blake there. <laughs> Ken scored a try. Can't that block. What if he, re- he ran the line? He would have gone and scored. He would have put the ball down in the far corner if he had to. Mm. <laughs> the teammates had to yell at him to mate, head towards the sticks. But yeah. they were, um, again, yeah, Timiko, another Timiko, good player. Really Great good. performance. Timiko, really good. Savage had a good game. But, the, I mean, the Warriors could have been 2-0. This could have yeah. been 3-0. They well, should yeah. have been 2-0, shouldn't yeah. they, the Warriors, really. I mean, they should have been Cronulla week one. Um, who are they playing week two again? I've forgotten. They sh- from memory, they should have almost won that as well, yeah, shouldn't they? Yeah, oh, the, oh, Storm. They Storm should have won that as well. Won that one. They were much better in the second half. Jazz Tabunga Storm. back in first grade, I think, made yeah. a difference there. Yeah. I think he's, su- he's such a... The way the current game's played, he's such that mobile front roller yeah. with good footwork, can yeah. tackle hard, can just sort of, you know, almost break the line every time he runs to it because he can just... Mm. A little bit of footwork before the line to go through. I thought he was a big difference the other night too, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah I thought it was a. It was also a good test for Canberra as well. This it's probably the, the best side that they've they've come up against, and mm. um, a, a side that's obviously going to be in finals contention. So they showed they at least can match it with with a really really good footy team. So I know what are you guys are made of the, the chat about what they should do with RTS? Should he be moved to? Uh, well, when's fullback? chance? When's chance? Back? Um, Round five, maybe soonish. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I thought. Well, when the young fella. F- um, failed his HIA and then they moved Roger the back he was 
he I mean he was the most dangerous player. Although Dallin Watney's and Lesniak played really well. I thought Roger was so busy and I'd I'd almost have him at full back. You know, you every club does it. You've got to have your best player there. The best player for that position and is is two of us a check for mine, so Can I give a shout out to the people of Christchurch? Trying to get a football team there, a mm. franchise there. They turned up in their droves. 17,000 yeah. mm. people. So uh, th- that's a good sign. And it's been sold out for weeks too. Yeah. So yeah. They're building a brand new, new stadium down there, fully enclosed. Um, I think another team in New Zealand is a good idea. I like the idea. Yeah, me too. I'm I do, not sure. Yeah. You don't sure. like it? No, I'm not sure the NRL likes it, and I'm not sure the well, Warriors like it. I don't like think it. the NRL like it now because yeah. they're so wedded oh, yeah, to PNG. Oh, yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought but you I'm meant sort of like years time. immediately. I'd, I'd, oh, yeah, absolutely. I'd go to 19. Like, yeah. I'd announce 19. Yeah, go yeah. to 1927, bring in PNG if you're so wedded to it, a second team <laughs> in New Zealand, and then go to Perth in 2030. Yeah, we're buying Chinese diesel buses at the moment. Yeah. We need to. We need some soft yeah. diplomacy up there, Reed yeah. man. We well, need that team. I mean, it's going to happen. Mm. It sounds like it's <laughs> basically a fait accompli. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure yeah. what the the state of rugby union is in New Zealand, but we know what it's like oh. over here. So I, I reckon for the NRL, um, especially with you know riding the wave of the Warriors, a, mm. a second team there sooner rather than later is a good idea. Absolutely. And you know, it sort of went under the radar last week, and I don't know whether this was. I'm, I, I'm wary about saying this. Oh, I like this. Because I saw some Twitter item from the Fiji government. They're putting in a bid. As well, for the next well, round. Well, again, it was on Twitter. So I'm a bit dubious <laughs> about the, it. it I forgot to check official? it out. I was going to check it out. <laughs> but I saw down. something about Fiji potentially putting a bid in. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It might have been a furphy. It might have been a fakey. I don't know. So, <laughs> but it looked legit. It looked legit. <laughs> Do is they this need you a trying to get another junk to Fiji? <laughs> I don't know where they play or how it would work. Mm. I think it's a bit mm, far-fetched. But anyway, I yeah. said it to Andrew Abdo, actually. He never got back to me. I must ask him what happened. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everyone wants oh, wow. a piece of the NRL at the moment. Everyone's, everyone wants in. Mm. But I think, you know, you go the Christchurch, brand new stadium. You have that state of origin... Um, North v South Island, you know Dave Moffat with his <laughs> with his bike pants. He's keen to get involved. Any Marinos, it's all happening over there. There's another rival bit as well, so I think let's get it done. Let's have another oh. team down there, and the fans love the league over in Christchurch. Mm. They want to be involved, so let's make yeah, it happen. Let's do it. Let's just lock it in. I think it makes more sense than a lot of the ideas. Yeah. Um, and let's just go to 20. It's, you know, there's players oh, So we've gone from, let's, go, let's just announce 19. Now yeah, let's, let's just, just announce 20. 20. <laughs> well, let's, go, let's just say we're going to 19 here. And we're going to announce the 20th in... 18 months. 18 months, yeah. Two years. Boom. Done. Mm. Easy. Everyone gets we'll go excited. To a conference system. Yeah. You know, yeah, and you have this frantic frenzy for... For who's going to sign Wayne as the gonna, inaugural coach. Who's going to align with <laughs> Perth? Because it'll be Perth, obviously. Mm. You know, you have the Jets and the Bears. Where do the Bears fighting go? Fighting each other for it. It's so exciting. <laughs> well, the Dolphins have been all right so far. There's yeah. Mm. Expansion seems week to one, we weren't saying that. Well. <laughs> week two, though. Well, week three, they'll be better. Mm. Yeah, they were pretty good. Can we play the Dragons every week? Oh, I shouldn't say that. Young yeah, Katoa went good. I saw Buzz had him signing a new mm. deal, mm. Uh, which is, you know, promising for him. Yep. Good kid. Yeah. So I actually had them in my eight. Before the year began, the Dolphins put them in my eight. I think they're in the eight now, aren't they? Yeah, they are currently. <laughs> ah, genius. <laughs> <laughs> was, that, was that pre or post Tom Gilbert injury? That was pre Tom Gilbert injury. Yeah, yeah so that, that was a big injury. That hurts. Yeah, Tommy that player. piece from Travi Main this week about his the blood clot mm. now? I almost died. Be. Yeah. We love an I almost died story, <laughs> <laughs> don't we? <laughs> Only when they're safe I could have died. <laughs> when they <laughs> live, of course. Yeah. 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 Crossed the road the other day. Could have died. <laughs> Didn't die. Could have. I tried to get the young blaze to lung you when we spoke to him yesterday. <laughs> he had that collapsed lung <laughs> last year. And I said to him, was it a bit Andrew Johns like? If you played, could you have died? He said, no, it wasn't that bad. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, headline's <laughs> gone. <laughs> Does he have the om- ominous, t- ominous tones playing in the background? Just to tell me, Blaze, he said, uh, how close was mate, it? He was quite funny. He said um, he, bu- he punk- collapsed his lung or punctured his lung or whatever. And the, d- <laughs> the doctor said to him, 
Oh, you'll be right, just go home. <laughs> See how you feel tomorrow. Oh, we're about to get a libel suit from the doctor. Thanks, mate. <laughs> 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 oh, well, uh, we better wrap things up because we've got to go chase some Fiji expansion news now. You've got me excited. Yeah. And we'll, uh, we'll be back Thursday ahead of a big weekend now. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Monday, Monday. Five days of footy yeah, around four. Should we always be like that. Bring back Monday Night Football. Oh. Maybe with 19 teams, we'll get there. It's a good yeah. idea. I think we might. Right, yeah. Let's do it. All right.